if i tell you the great things about my job that i decided to quit you would think i'm crazy why would you leave a job that gives you two days to work from home every week where you are the head of a department and you were almost like the third in command working for an organization that is recognized nationwide in fact yen.com.gh is always part of the top three most visited news websites in ghana sometimes the first sometimes the second and rarely the third and constantly you would get links to people because you have to interview this influencer or that person running a business or that person who just won an award so the network keeps building up why would you leave all these opportunities i'll tell you why because of three reasons firstly i know i've become sort of a go-to person because i constantly get messages even till now of people who want to publish an article for one reason or another and i'm doing this video to officially inform everybody that i'm no more that guy you can come to if, if you want to publish your articles on yen.com.gh or you want a story done about you however i can still link you up because i have good relationships with the people there secondly i'm sharing this story with you because i'm hoping that it teaches you something that you can also apply in your life or maybe even inspires you in a way the third reason i want to tell you this story is because i want to drive home a point in particular about work life and how i've come to understand that we need to build our work life in order to be very fulfilled in order to be very successful and in order to be happy in life so let me just tell you the answer in one sentence the reason why i decided to quit my job was because i wanted to pivot more onto my life purpose which is to help the world around me live better i believe my purpose in life is all about helping people live better and i want to do that more what do i mean by this so let me just give you the background story okay how this drive built itself in my heart so back in high school ketasco i started developing this interest of helping my colleagues to get prepared for wasi i actually would write a quote on the chalkboard that says wasi is coming soon it's not that far off let's get ready let's take our book seriously i once wrote a quote on the chalkboard as usual and then one of my teachers miss zane an english teacher actually came to read the quote and said who wrote this because this is the most profound advice i've seen a student give to other students so she looked for me commended me for that still in high school i was so concerned that not many people were mindful of life after life and so i wrote an article aimed at rekindling this revival in the hearts of my colleague students so that we can all be more intentional about life and live well i printed this together with my friend Godswe Agbakwe, who is now a pastor we went from classroom to classroom to paste this article in every single classroom in katasco my passion for helping the world around me the people around me live better went on even when i went to knust because i joined the editorial committee in my first week as a member i noticed a number of things and i wrote to the leader of the committee telling him about certain observations i, I had made and certain suggestions i have so that we could be more active yield better results and have a more productive committee when i got into final year i realized that there's this trend of freshers coming into the school not knowing so many things and ending up making certain mistakes that could have easily been avoided by just being informed that oh just do this do this do this when you get to the school and so i wrote a book called reformed or deformed to guide freshmen on living in tertiary fruitfully and graduating without regret this book went on to be sold in about eight different public universities in ghana when i finished school and i went into into my national service the department where i was the quality control department of ghana specialty fat industries limited i realized that there was not one document that made learning easy for anybody who came there because you have to learn about this experiment and why it's done and go and learn later about that experiment and how it's done and how to run this other experiment and so everything was scattered and it was quite a lot so i decided to compile everything into one document just so that anybody who comes after me finds it easier to learn the entire process and understand the science behind everything we do so i went on to do my research came up with this document just so that i could help the department be a little better than i met it that is all my purpose has been about then i got the opportunity to join yen.com.gh the first week i wrote an entire essay on the things i think could be done differently in order for us to have a more productive work life in order for us to have healthy competition in order for us to just be better off 
I always want the world around me to be better off and I'm constantly thinking of ways, sometimes even unconsciously. That is why I believe so strongly it's, it's built in me and I need to do it with my life. So I came up with that essay and gladly some of the suggestions were taken into consideration. Later on, I wrote my book, Chairs and Tears of After School Life to guide people who are leaving school and facing the job market, especially young people, on how to approach life when they enter the job market, the kind of mindset they must have, and how to position themselves for early success. And these are from the experiences I myself have had and the people I talked to, the general climate in the work culture in Ghana, and the things I had learned. So I wrote that book, and the feedback was amazing from the people who read it. Later, I wrote a book called Agbewe 3 about my love story and the lessons in it surrounding healing from a breakup, surrounding finding the right partner. And I also put it out there because I always want the world around me to be better. So anything I learn, I want to put it out there. And I constantly want to come up with new ways that we can do things better and live better lives and be happier and have a more peaceful society and be more fulfilled. So right from the get-go, I've been trying to pivot onto that life purpose more and more and more. Every time, I'm constantly looking for a way to do it in a more effective way than I did it previously. And this is the reason why I had to leave all these benefits and privileges at yen.com.gh so I can pivot more onto that life purpose and align myself to it more effectively just so that I can inform more people about the things they need to do in order to have a more productive life, a more fulfilled life, a happier life so that we can have a better society. And if I could abandon such a job with this as a major motivation, that tells you how important it is for me. And actually, I find that it's important for everybody because whatever you find yourself doing that you don't consider to be great work, work that is aligned with your purpose, you cannot be fully excited about it. And it will be more challenging to achieve great success at that kind of job. But if you do some work that you believe is great work, is what you are here to do, and you find deep fulfillment doing it, you will do it to the best of your ability, to levels that most people cannot match up to. You can take it from me because of my experience, but you don't have to take it from me. Take it from the great people you know. Think of the top three greatest people you can mention in the world today. And I challenge you to actually do that because I am certain that you will find that these people are doing something they consider to be deeply aligned with their purpose in life. And that is the reason that they are achieving great results in life. And you can take it from some of the people who have inspired me personally, like Steve Jobs and Miles Monroe. You've got to find what you love. Your work is going to fill a large part of your life. And the only way to be truly satisfied is to do what you believe is great work. And the only way to do great work is to love what you do. If you haven't found it yet, keep looking and don't settle. So yes, you guessed right. This channel is also one of the projects I've embarked on just so that I could impart these lessons and this positive impact in the society. Because this channel is about extracting crucial life lessons from important life stories. And on that note, I will entreat you that if you are yet to subscribe to this channel, hit the subscribe button below, turn on the notification bell, so that whenever I post a new video, you will get notified. One of the videos we shot recently was about Sewa Amihir, a TV personality in Ghana, and four things about her mindset and personality that I believe can make the world a better place if we all adopt it. You can click here to watch that video for yourself. Now, if you are wondering how you can also find what that purpose is in your life, I entreat you to stick to this channel and keep coming back because I intend to do a video about that very soon. Breaking down all the steps of finding your purpose and being sure that it is your purpose so that you can spend your life chasing after it and pivoting and pivoting until you get onto that path fully and live your life chasing that purpose because that is what will bring you the greatest form of fulfillment. That is what will give you the greatest form of success you can ever have and that is what will make you happy, truly, truly happy with your work life. Also, if you have any questions regarding anything I've shared, feel free to leave your comments below. Ask me anything and I'll be more than happy to respond to you. Alternatively, you could reach out to me on any of my social media handles, Ebenezer Agbequist or EK Inspire, and I'll be more than happy to get back to you with an answer. Also, check the description of this video and you will see a link to get my book for free, Agbewe 3. You will also see a link to join my Telegram channel. You will see a link to get access to my WhatsApp.
WhatsApp channel as well. So this is the reason why I left my job at yen.com.gh as the head of the human interest department. Until I see you again in my next video, which is already being prepared. Remember that life gives us episodes of chaos and peace. But after each episode, you should pause and ask yourself, what can I learn from this?